Well, hello friends. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome again to my deck. It is a beautiful weekend. I honestly didn't think I'd have this much time on my hands, but I'm glad I do because now we can talk more whiskey. Uh, this will be, uh, certainly belongs in the uh, value consideration range that I've been shooting, but we're going to do a Canadian. I haven't done a Canadian in that series yet. So today we're going to look at uh, um, Canadian whiskey from Forty Creek. This is their small batch double barrel reserve. Thanks for, for staying with me and for joining me out here again. Uh, just continues to be uh, a blessing this weekend to be with family, but to also have time uh, for reflection and to reach out and talk to you guys. Uh, this, as I said, this is Forty Creek um, Small Match Double Bell Reserve. Now, Forty Creek, you know, you probably when you're thinking, oh, value, I'm going to shoot the um, uh, Barrel Select or the Copper Pot. Those are both very affordable Canadian whiskeys. Uh, more affordable than this. Um, and certainly belong in, in a value series. The reason why I wanted to include this in the value series is it's recently been rebottled into this um, more you know, standard shape instead of the flat ones. Uh, and it's dropped in price by a, a good 20 bucks in my neighborhood. So now it sits in the $30 range. Not, no, not 30, not 30, I shouldn't say that. It's more like the $36 range, somewhere in there. Um, and so for me, it's now become uh, certainly a better value than it was before. In this uh, Forty Creek, they're known, as many Canadian whiskeys, for age, like distilling and aging their grain separately. So in this uh, Canadian whiskey, we've got corn, rye, and barley. I really don't know the ratios, but they've been distilled separately and then aged separately. Then they're often blended and vatted, and that's where you get, you know, your copper pot or barrel select. But this time, they are blended after that aging, and then they're aged, the, the, hence the double barrel, together. They're really married in oak and in first fill bourbon oak. So the first part of the aging, the separate aging, I don't know what kind of barrels or casts are using. Uh, my sense from what I get out of here is, you know, well-used barrels. Uh, but certainly in this one, the double barrel, they are married in uh, a first fill ex-bourbon barrel. Uh, it's released at 40%. I have no doubt that these are, uh, that this is colored um, and chill filtered. We'll see what we get out of this. Cheers. Well, wow, that's the sip cheers. Let's first to see what the nose is like. Well, I find it a nice mellow nose. This is a lots of vanilla, a little bit of caramel. Sometimes I'll pick up a bit of spice. Right now I'm not getting it. Okay, yeah, a little bit of spicing in there too. Some sweetness for sure from corn. Uh, because it's Canadian, I tend to describe that sweetness now as more maple sugar, but really it's that lighter vanilla caramel sugar sweetness. A little bit of spice. Maybe some gentle fruit, just some, some cut up apple. But I... I it's, it's far closer to, you know, just sort of a sweet whiskey, sugary, sweet, vanilla, cream, that kind of thing, more than fruit. So that's not going to be the first thing. The first thing I think you're going to get is, oh, sweet whiskey, fairly gentle. Let's see how it tastes. Here's the cheers. First time you put that in your mouth, I think you're going to get exactly what the nose told you. Oh, this is a sweet whiskey. Uh, add to the, I think I said it in the nose, but really add to the, the sugaring and the brown sugar some, um, some spicing. So now you've got a little bit of light cinnamons. Not very complicated spicing, so really actually kind of stays to like a light, what's a light, lighter pepper than a really cracked black? It's not really that, like so a lighter, maybe that's a white pepper. So a little bit of pepper. A little bit of cinnamon, perks up on the tongue. Um, better try it again. Yeah, 
I can get um, more of that sweetness layers and a little bit of oak too. Not a lot, but okay. A little bit of oak in there. Um, not very complicated. Uh, pretty easy drinking, pretty gentle. Oh, there the sweetness went to a bit more, um, really a high sweetness, like a sugar marshmallow sweetness. So it really, this is a very sweet whiskey and not in a style that I appreciate. Certainly in Forty Creeks Wheelhouse, I find barrel select copper pot and now this double barrel, very sweet. This one almost somehow, is, even though it's being put into, into first fill bourbon, which you might think would pick up kind of more, I actually find a little less um, high sugar than in the barrel or copper pot. But there's an essential flaw to this whiskey from my palate. So I think many Canadians, and I really, I stayed with this for a while before wanting to review it because of what I'm about to say next. I think lots of Canadians would like this and would find it a, um, a step up from Copper Pot in that it is a little more um, layered, just a hint more what else is going on here than the other ones. Because it's really essentially those whiskeys, but put back into another finishing into some fresher barrels. But there is something with this whiskey in my palate. So I can't say for sure that's going to be your palate. You may not get it at all. But I get a chemical or artificial sweetness that builds up as I drink this. So at first, oh yeah, maybe it's there, maybe it's not. Already now, like it sticks around in the palate. I was just describing it to my wife because she was trying to, like, what do you mean? I said, you know what, for me, it's almost like a diet cola. So you know how... Um, when you're, you know, what is that artificial sweetener that they that they put in there instead of sugar? Uh, to me, that starts to happen. And then I can't lose it. Like a second sip, it's still there. And it just becomes part of the experience of the whiskey for me. It, and I think Diet Cola is pretty much a uh, uh, bang on for what I'm getting. But maybe Diet Cola is your thing. Or maybe you don't get that at all. And you're just going to be left with the, the, the good layering, the nice spice from rye, the sweetness from corn... The, the, the fresher wood with the rebarreling. And this might be a great pick for you. My palate, I just can't get past that. And, and I, I really actually um, was hoping for more with that price drop. I'm thinking this is now in the value range and it's more complicated. It's going to be great. My palate's not a winner. This sits under three stars. It is a whiskey that I, I will wait till I finish the bottle. Maybe it'll change yet. Maybe there's a chance for that to go away. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, reveal what I might say in a recycle review. But at this point, boy, this whiskey ain't making me happy. <laughs> hey, you know, thank you for uh, for tuning in. I, you know, I love the comments that you guys are making. It actually uh, helps me feel connected to uh, to some friends. Um, I hope my reviews also uh, really reflect that. Of course, I think about them, and of course, I try to do some, some of my history and some of my background, but so often, I, I get a moment, I realize, you know, I've got a little bit of time to shoot something, and I jump in, because for me, it is the sharing that makes this worthwhile. I hope the sharing is worthwhile for you guys, too, and that you're well. Family continues to be good. So my extended family are being tested for this terrible, uh, terrible infection, but so far, um, we're all okay. Hope you're okay too and are having a fantastic weekend. Till the next one.